What are space and time? Describe motion through space as a function of time. 3 meters per second, 200 miles per hour. But is time universal? Is there a metronomic tick-tock throughout the universe? Till 1905, physicists believed that space and time are absolute. But Albert Einstein came up with a theory that space and time are relative and two sides of the same coin, known as the space-time continuum. Einstein's theory of special relativity has two postulates. Let's go to the first one. Intuitively, the world should feel the same in all reference frames moving with a constant velocity. These are called inertial reference frames. So it doesn't matter if you're on a cycle, in a car, in a spaceship, or in your backyard having a cup of coffee. As long as you're moving with a constant velocity, the laws of physics should apply in exactly the same way. The second postulate says that the speed of light is the same for all observers, which is about 300 million meters per second and is denoted by the letter C. This postulate seems counterintuitive. I mean, if you see a car move with a velocity of half C and it flashes its headlight, then the speed of the light beam must have been one and half C because it has its own speed plus the speed of the car. But that's not true. Speed multiplied by time equals distance, but when it comes to light, speed is always constant, which would mean that the other two variables have to change. So when time changes, that's called time dilation. And when distance changes, it's called length contraction. Say I'm on a moving train and I flash a light beam at a mirror which is exactly one meter away from me. And it reflects the light back. For me, the light traveled two meters, but meanwhile the train was still moving and so did the mirror relative to John standing on the platform. The result is that John saw the light travel diagonally as if its path formed two sides of a triangle. So from John's perspective, the light traveled a greater distance. But meanwhile, the speed of the light beam was still exactly C. And if the light traveled a greater distance for the same speed, then it must have been traveling for longer. So time has slowed down for me. That is time dilation. And the difference in the time can be calculated using simple algebra and Pythagorean theorem resulting in this number called the Lorentz gamma. Now length contraction tells that if something is moving relative to you, its length in the direction of motion will seem shorter than it would if it was at rest. If John wants to measure the length of the train, he takes the velocity of the train and multiplies it with the time it takes to pass him. But we already know that time moves faster for John than it does for me. So he should measure less time as the train passes him. And as v multiplied by t equals d, so lesser time means lesser length. Length contraction happens for objects moving at regular speeds too. But it's so tiny that there's no way you would ever notice it. All of this is to say that when you start to analyze things that are moving fast, the universe becomes a very strange place.